while standing for a fight you know if you're standing in front of a person that you are about to fight what you do you protect your joints first so you bend every joint in your body starting from the neck put your head down but you don't touch the chin with the chest three fingers gap should always be there three finger gap why so why do we bend our neck joint a point if your chin is out like this this is a knockout point knockout point knockout point somebody punches you on the chin the this point the lower part of the chin you will get knocked out concussion in the head so if you keep it like this it's easy to hit the chin and most of the boxers and mma fighters they hunt for the chin because this is a very important shot to get a ko knockout second thing is your windpipe okay if somebody punches you in the windpipe because it's open when you keep it like this it's open somebody can punch you on the windpipe and you might die <laughs> that's not good so you keep it down but, but keep three fingers gap why so because you don't want to keep it like this then your neck is hyper extended and it's easy to break your neck keep it just a little gap between the chin and the chest by doing this now you can protect a chin shot with your shoulder simple just do this if it's this way i have to get my shoulder way up right and still it will not protect the chin but if i keep it here it's easy easy to protect the chin easy to protect the chin easy to protect the chin if like this see i have to keep it i have to cover this much but if it's like this easy just this just this that's it that's it i didn't don't even have to pick my arm up just simple simple chin all the hooks can be defended by this with the straight punches i just have to keep it like this that's it so it becomes way easier to defend next joint is your back so you slouch a little see you slouch a little slouch not too much that's too much just a little convex from this side concave from this side why so is because if i keep it like this again and i try to protect my chin my lower ribs are open so a roundhouse or a liver shot or a you know rib shot can hurt me can damage me they are they are not covered so i have to keep to keep on doing this 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 it's very impractical so you just flex a little just flex a little so that see now my chin is down my spine is flexed is just a little bent so now i can cover my chin as well as my lower ribs okay so my chin is covered my face is covered my lower ribs are covered but when you throw the punch see what do i do when i throw a punch observe look at my back my back is a little bent a little slouched but when i throw it explodes or extends so my back extends when i throw the punch when i when i bring it back again it is a little curved the whole thing is little concaved from this side and convex from this side when i throw it elongates elongates my back elongates okay it's not curved when i throw it elongates i'm here i throw it elongates okay see it's curved right now when i throw the punch it is straighten not too much bent but straighten but when i come back it is again curved when i throw a cross again i use my full height again my full height and i throw the cross while bringing back i again bent make a concave next joint is your elbow obviously you will keep it bent your finger joints keep it bent never straighten like this never elongate them never you know extend them always flex them a little bit of flexion should be there a, a curve like you're holding a pot okay knee joints just a little bend your knee joint just a little not too much this is too much your knee 
joint should not pa pass an imaginary line starting from your toe a perpendicular imaginary straight line vertical straight line starting from your toe your knee joint should not pa pass that okay be careful so just bend just a little so that the same reason if you straighten your knees and somebody kick you on the knee or just above the knee or below the knee whatever your knee joint can break just bend a little you when you will learn kicking you will understand there are like n number of advantages for bending your knee joint so a knee joint should always be always be bent just a little right this is 180 just bend it 175 or 170 doesn't matter 170 degree 175 degree just a little bend so that it has some space to extend so flex it all flex a little so now let's come to the ankle joint or your heel so your back leg heel should always be lifted up same reason if somebody pushes me i have some space to fall see this is my heel joint if somebody pushes me i have some space to fall you know this is that space that i require to regain my balance but if i'm keeping this this way and somebody punches uh, pushes me very less space if somebody traps this le this leg of mine front leg of mine and pushes me i have no where to go and there are many other reasons it helps you to punch watch my previous videos it helps you to generate power for the punch you turn it like a spring and the power is generated from there and ends up to your hand so watch my previous videos for more details on that what should be the distance between your feet watch closely whatever your shoulder width is make the distance between your feet and take one of the feet whichever you feel comfortable that should be on the back okay that should be a back foot whatever feet you are go going to take it take it straight what most people do is diagonally they bring this one feet diagonally and then end up in a straight line you don't want to end up in a straight line because again it is easy to fall disbalance okay it should be straight back like taking a step forward taking a step backward it should be straight back 